I was diagnosed in 1995. And I was confused. I didn't understand what was going on to me. I didn't understand why. I've been a patient with Simple since 2004. We actually started out of a group of employees at hospice, and they saw the need for aid services in our area. I was doing my internship in college, then I was placed in the HIV field as well as um, working with the homeless population, and I quickly fell in love with the HIV population. Um, came into, my passion really came into play whenever I saw a client that was in the hospital. And I mean, here we are in 2007 and a nurse came up to me before I walked in his room and she said, you do know what he has. And that blew my mind. I'm like, we're in, you know, 2007 and you're asking me if I know what he has. And so that to me really pushed the passion even more to see the stigma that was still going into place. You know, when somebody comes in that's HIV positive, and they don't have a roof over their head, or they don't know how they're going to eat that night, you can't expect them to say, yes, I'll start taking this medication every single day, when they don't know if their lights are gonna be on or when they're gonna get home. They don't know how they're gonna pick up their child from school, if they're able to see their child. There are so many barriers. We try to do whatever we can to limit the barriers and keep them in care. And so if food and hunger is an issue, then we want to make sure that we fill that issue. A lot of our clients are low income, so we help them find affordable housing, which is a challenge in itself. Um, but we do things like for the homeless um, who are coming into care, we, will, um, we have hotels that they can stay in for up to 60 days. And while they're there, we, we encourage them and help them um, where they can look for jobs and, and get back on their feet, get hired at a place. Through Sempa, they help me by going back to school, I went back to school and achieved my um, associate's degree. Then I went back and got my bachelor's um, at 55. The 340B program is obviously a huge part of what we do on a day in and day out basis. Before our clinic was a 340B covered entity, they lived on a uh, line of credit. Uh, after the 340B program, we've been able to greatly expand uh, our services to give the, give the care uh, that these people really need. Being able to offer comprehensive services, which are really only afforded to us through the 340B program, we're able to help the holistic standpoint of, of their overall health care, and that has seen tremendous um, outcomes. If we no longer had access to the 340B program, we would risk actually closing our, our doors. If, if this community in particular didn't have SEMPA, there would be a lot of holes uh, uh, and a lot of missed opportunities for folks, especially on the margins of society, uh, to, get, to get care. And so I, it would be devastating. Being here, um, I was educated what um, the disease itself and also able to learn how to deal with it, how, to, how you can cope with it and move on. I fell in love with being here is because um, having that opportunity to help somebody feel better about themselves and, uh, and reduce that stigma. Um, so we, you know, and it's in getting to know them as a person. I just, I just love this place. If they take it away, I'd be through. This is like a family for me. So I really like being here.